This is the Greenwich uh, telescope cover. It's one of the best telescope covers I've seen, better than those aluminium ones because this material is really strong and sturdy. It's almost like a tent, good tent, the way they used to be. And I'm covering the, a telescope like this. Uh, I'll put the telescope out to reach the thermal equilibrium and I will show you. This is my lovely trustworthy uh, Mead uh, LX208 inch telescope and uh, I love this uh, controls that you have here and you can adjust it but what I've done I've added this uh, accessory tray to it so I can put the eyepieces of different sizes usually the eyepiece holders don't have more than two spaces for two inch eyepieces but it has four and six spaces for normal eyepieces and two spaces for the hand control uh, I will be using in altazimuth mode so I will not be using any of the hand control or anything like that Okay, this is the telescope as it looks and I've removed the cap so we can see the mirror Uh, because the tube is closed, that means the end of it is eyepiece end is closed, the front of it is also closed by the corrector plate. It needs to be left outside to reach thermal equilibrium if you want to get a very good steady image with this. And the images with this, superb. If you want to look at the moon and feel that you are flying on the moon, use this telescope and use it with the binary viewer. That is the best experience you will have ever. It's like you are in a lunar module flying over the moon. I'm using a, a RASI right angle corrector image uh, in finder with this telescope. A Revelation Astro dual speed Cray foot focuser and a CD1 contrast enhancement diagonal uh, with this really good eye uh, really good really good this one and uh, I use several pieces to put there and when the time comes and uh, it's reached thermal equilibrium I will be looking at the moon which at the moment is there just past the first quarter phase This is the primary mirror of the telescope and this is the secondary mirror. In principle, they are very similar to Maxitov. The only difference is Maxitov can be cheaper made because they are better corrected because they use a, just a meniscus, a spherical meniscus. But this has to use a specially shaped corrector plate. And this is a mid uh, F10, a Schmidt Cassegrain F10. Diameter of the ob objective is 2,203.2 millimeter. Focal length 2,000 and F10. That means it's a good telescope for planetary viewing. But you can add a uh, focal reducer here. I have not done it here, but I can do it. And that focal reducer makes it into a um, good wide angle. Like this uh, telescope. Yeah. Okay. As you see, the parked position for this, the safest way and for storage, is to put the objective uh, front corrector plate side down and objective side up. And that is the way you can actually store it. And with these two knobs, you can move it in both axes. And even you can lock it here. There is a lock locking mechanism on here. Can lock it as a level, and this one also you can lock it there. The lovely Greenwich uh, telescope cover actually protects it from the overheating when it is exposed to the sunshine, sunlight. So that's the way we use this. Thing. And for ease of observation, also I'm using a, a second-hand. Uh, um, little chest of drawers which I can put my eyepieces, my paper if there is any 
a book, I can put it there, cleaning, optical cleaning instrument tools, I can put it there, air blower, and at the same time I can put my hands here, or if I have a coffee I can put it here, just enjoy the comfort of the observation, I have an observation chair also, that I will use with this. Oh, nice. Not good for you. Get them. Get a tummy out. I think it's like a fish bacon. Do you know, I just can't digest bacon. 